Hey love bugs, it's Rosalind back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed. I'm doing blessed and highly favored and definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time stopping by my channel, much love to you and welcome. And to my returning subs, my grown extended beautiful family, just thank you so much for being patient with me as well as yourselves, embracing your gifts, knowing more about your gifts, learning more about the things you have to go through when you have these gifts. It's all great is an all great blessing, even though it can feel like a curse at times. So with that being said, much love to all. Namaste, love and blessings, love and light. And many blessings are definitely coming your way. And if you have been watching my videos for a while and have not already, please like and subscribe. Even hit that notification bell at the bottom so you know when I'm about to upload my next video. Also, if you are comfortable enough, please drop me a line or two. I love a chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me. Even if it's about the positive feedback of the content of my video, or you're just up to tell me about your impact the gift and how it impacts your life and heading you towards a positive direction. Also, if you feel like the videos just gave you good vibes or just good information you would love to pass on to a fellow empath or know somebody who truly needs to hear it at this time, please go ahead and do so. And while you're at it, give me a thumbs up, like, and even share on your social media favorites wherever you see fit. And thank you once again for stopping by my channel and showing so much love and support. And I hope you're able to resonate with the content of my video. Y'all, you know, I already said uh, I was going to put my daughter's website at the at the bottom if you can check out her website and help donate towards her um i tell them to just do these for a couple of more days and you know help her out on her website for her to be able to get this book published really quick you know it's all greatly appreciated if you know if you can give a couple of dollars and let her know that i sent you to her website it'll greatly be appreciated so um today let me see i had to put my phone back on the charger because it's like my energy is soaking up my battery you probably had that problem too if you're empath uh, the meditation music i'm listening to is wipe out all the negative uh negative energy 417 hertz erase subconscious negative pattern music um yeah y'all y'all know i've been listening to a lot of this stuff you know when i go through meditations i love to hear stuff that wipe out you know overthinking or positive you know negative energy because it's like going through all these things that we're going through all these emotional changes i love to hear stuff that's like very soothing comforting and chanting anything like that is gonna bring my vibes up i love that so you know we all have our moments at times so you know i just love to share that with y'all as well but anyways my video today is twin flame 101 hey okas when we're close to our blessings you know darkness is not that far behind <laughs> so it, it's just crazy because you can have a good couple of days you know and some people are just like dang does rosa never have bad days heck yeah i do if you if i do you know i really share you know seldom share it with y'all like that but i'll let y'all know you know nobody's perfect we all have days where you're we're happy soulful or joyful or whatever but there's days we get sad depressed anxious feel like you're going through despair, feeling like your life's going to fall apart. But, you know, that's all natural. You know, we're, we're these higher beings in these human shells. So it's like, it's already enough as it is because we're foreign. You know, we're foreign to our shell at times because sometimes we can go through that identity situation like we feel detached at times. But knowing when you're heading towards something beautiful, darkness come damn creeping. <laughs> you already know and it's just like for the last couple of days i'm just like you know i'm reaching out to people because i love i like i tell y'all i love what i do i feel like it's a blessing y'all have humbled me i've always tried to be a humble person because you never know what somebody's story is you never know what people go through and it's just for a blessing for me to have to go through so much hell and learn so much in a short period of time and knowing that you know, my downfalls and my mistakes, my F-ups, has helped y'all, you know, and it, it's just a blessing to be able to do that, it, you know, and when people can resonate with what I'm going through, and, you know, it's just like I said, I'm not looking for somebody to feel bad for me, or be a victim towards anything, because I don't feel like I'm a victim towards anything, I know, all I know is just the things, the abuse that I've endured throughout my life, just for being who I was related to, and knowing this is the cause of it because of the situation of people's insecurities that can really hurt especially when it comes from your family that adopts you it's not like you were born into this family but especially when you're chosen to be in that family they're like okay we want this child and then you pick me and then you still you know abuse me that that's the messed up stuff but it is just like there's a pain behind everything you go through there i mean 
it's not a pain. There's a purpose behind everything you go through. That's what I meant to say. But like I said, it's a blessing to be able to, you know, there, there was no guidance that I had except spirit guides, my dad, um, me stumbling across things and it's not, you know, by accidents or just a coincidence, you know, these things happen to me for a reason. And just to be able to know that's a blessing for nobody. I didn't have no spiritual teacher to take, give me these things except, you know, my spiritual energies that was able to help me. So that's a true blessing to me for me to know what I know and knowing I, I don't feel like anybody owes me anything. I don't feel like I'm better than anybody else. You know, I know a lot of people get intimidated when they find out who I'm related to and they're like, oh my God, you know, she's related to this, this and that, you know, and I'm just like the girl next door, you know, I just tell them, you know, this is my father. I'm not my father. You know, shoot, I get intimidated by my dad. So don't feel bad. So it's just like all these different things that goes on. I really feel blessed for being able to do it. Um, when I can look at y'all's uh, comments, y'all don't know how many times I don't cry. There, you know, I still got comments I still got to reply to. So if I haven't replied to them yet, I apologize. I've just been really going through some stuff. And like I said, even if it's like I still got to go through emails. I got emails I still haven't answered yet. But if I feel that funky energy towards me, I'm just not that type of person that wants to engage with somebody in a simple conversation. I don't. And so I don't want you to think I'm ignoring you or feel like, you know, I don't want to answer you. It's not that. But if I'm going through something very major and my shift is like very irritated, um, you know, feeling desperation or just going through, you know, any kind of negative situation or negative vibe, I don't want to push that off to anybody. You know, there's times where, you know, I felt certain kind of ways I was in my feelings, but spirit told me hey, they need to see you at this point. It's not for people to feel bad for me, but it's to give awareness for, you know what, this is what I'm going through and this is what I'm trying to heal from. And, you know, when you're going through something, I don't know each and every one of y'all stories. You know, I'm blessed for the ones that I have got in contact with and I know what their, their struggles are, what they're trying to heal from. And it's not to say what I go through is worse than what you go through because all of us, you know, nobody's stress is worse than the others, you know, because... You don't know how you would act if you're in that person's shoes. I don't, you know. So for me to be able to experience the things I've experienced, lose lose the people that I've lost, even though they're still spiritually attached to me, is really a blessing. But just to be able to help somebody else, now I know, you know, at first I was like, why do I have to go through all this? You know, this really messed up. You know, why am I finding out who my father is and knowing the truth? The whole truth, even though I had my, my suspicions about who my dad was because I knew we had a strange connection since I was little. I knew way more than my parents told me and it used to creep them out because there's things that I, I knew about my dad. I should not have no reason to know. And, you know, it is just truly a blessing to me that I can be able to, you know, tell people about certain situations like this because it seems so amazing you know, amazing, crazy, like, wow, you know, sometimes people find out my situation, like, people that are close to me, but like, Rosalind, I had no idea, you know, these are friends that I'm getting in touch with, and they're seeing my YouTube channel, like, we've known you for years, and we didn't know you went through this, so you'll be amazed, you know, a lot of people don't, that's, I was a big skeleton in the closet, that, you know, I couldn't discuss things, you know, um, I wasn't, I was scared to be able to think like, oh God, well, what happened if my family found out that, you know, I was saying these things, you know, I got abused for the fact is me talking too much about this anyway, but now it's at that point where I don't care if they find out, you know, I don't go volunteer on information like this, but if they were to stumble upon it, you know, I mean, what are you going to do? You can't do anything because this is, you know, if you were worried about things get out, you don't do things like this to people, but it's just the fact is when I can harbor, I don't harbinger Harvard, let me see. I don't carry hate in my heart for them anymore. You know, um, that takes an emotion. I don't have an emotion for them. I forgive them, you know, but I can't say I love them, I hate them, or I wish anything bad. I just don't have any kind of emotion when it comes to them. I just pray for them, for them to heal from whatever they, you know, had to heal from for you to be able to push that type of energy towards another person, especially a child. You know, um, being able to do that, it took me a long time to get that way. You know, especially if you've been with me for a while and know the things I've endured. You know, I've, I've put a lot of it in my past videos of the things that I went through as a child. 
you know, which is, you know, I say I always want to be an advocate. And, I, you know, at first I was saying it about foster children or adopted children, but I want to be able to help anybody who's been through a situation. You know, when I get to where I can be able to do that, to be able to start a foundation for children that have gone through uh, child abuse. You know, children that are placed in foster care, they get abused and they're just getting them for a check. There are so many cases of children being in foster care and they're, you know, they're not being treated like they're supposed to be treated, but they're the people who are keeping them, they have no problem with collecting that check. And that's a sad thing to have to go through. And it, it's just when you want to be an advocate for those things, you know, I feel like the same thing my dad has, you know, put charities towards or got his own personal charities. I feel like I want to be able to follow in his footsteps on those, but start venturing off on my own. Not really as in a shadow, but start things like that off on my own. So it's like going through these experiences. I know it can help a lot of people as well as I'm doing now and being able to help children as well. So, you know, being able to do that is a thing that is a blessing. But it's just like when you know there's things coming towards you as us being impasse, we know something is on its way. You, we know things are brewing, but we don't know what it is. But we're trying to be in the collective. We're trying to be able to learn more about ourselves, embrace the gifts, going through all these crazy changes. And you're like, <laughs> and going through so much hell, but with you being activated, you have to go through all these things. But when you come out on top, that's the blessing. You don't went through so much hell. And I really feel like a lot of us is going through major hell right now, including myself. But the way I see it, we have to go, you know, you have to go to rock bottom to be able to come back up. You can't go any further than rock bottom. And we have, you know, there's only way up is going is up. So with us doing this, you already know when blessings are coming because darkness will come hit your ass in all different directions you'll feel depressed you feel like you want to give up you're like f this i'm not, i'm surrendering I, i'm done that's what darkness wants you to do you do not let darkness win on that you know because it's just like when you're close to your blessings and you're knowing that you're going to be going through something major it's going to take it is nothing that you want specifically in life that is something very big it's not going to come easy to you it's going to you know universe needs to know are you going to work hard and i mean it might be aggravating at times I feel it but then when I look at it in a different perspective okay this is what I want this is what I want to do I'm heading towards this and every time I keep coming to a dead end dead end or if I need help from some major people that can really help me they don't want to do it you know I used to get frustrated about that but no what universe is saying we're, we're going to put you in these certain situations they used to really piss me off when they did that but then I had to look at it as a different way like I always try to tell y'all, look at a different perspective of what you're going through. When universe sees that no matter what that information they give you and they give you this hint to go a certain direction, even though it might not pan out for you, they want to know how many times if we're going to give them these situations and see if they're going to go towards that. And you're telling universe, okay, you're, you're steering me to go here this way, but I'm not getting anything from this way. No, we're just trying to see as many things that we put in your direction, are you going to give up on it or are you going to go for what we told you? And if they see every single time that you keep going where they tell you to do, do, do what you, they tell you to do, merge where you need to merge to. And even though things that might not pan out the way they're supposed to, they let them, that's telling them, you know what, they didn't, they didn't give up. They want this really bad because what you want, if it comes easy, it's not going to last. And what is going to be hard that you want really in life is is going to last so you know you're going through these for a reason being titled to know that your blessings are coming but you just got to hold on a little bit longer you'll see the signs you'll see the sacredness if you're like me you if you see the numbers you're going to be looking them up because i've been seeing a lot of good luck numbers i've been seeing you know different to spirit animals totems whatever you want to call it coming towards my way and I know better things are coming so they're going to come for you as well so I hope you're able to resonate with the content of my video I'm feeling short of breath right now and I know it's because of that kundalini stuff um but y'all I'm going to go ahead and give a shout out really quick to Diamond and Jade Lyman and Janet uh and Linda Donahue as well much love to y'all blessings like and subscribe drop a line uh, hit, hit the notification button and I would love to hear from you and please share a video wherever you truly fit, see fit and I'll see you later. Have a good, safe weekend. Be responsible for everything you do.
much love peace